Hello and welcome to VGM, everybody. It is that time again. Time for some more. Ah! Real monsters. Ah. You ready for the spooks, Taco? <laughs> I guess. You ready to be spookified? We're like gonna be jump scared, but yeah, okay. <laughs> I, there's like creepy I will, atmospheric it, stuff. Well, Taco probably might be fine, but you know, freaking those jump scares are going to get me 100%. I guarantee you. <laughs> Taco will be jump scared. There is no if and or but about that. Good. Good. I mean, no, it's not that bad. I think it's this game? I mean, the, it's enti the entire game isn't built around it, necessarily, so... I'm sorry about everything. I just wish I could talk to someone. It's all... No, it's Nicole. ...falling apart here. I can't believe what's happening. <laughs> is this Strange. us? Such this, a little... Oh, this, this is, is us. us. Yeah, this is us. That's her. It looks all right. It looks yeah. pretty good. Isaac Clark. Weeks. Five minutes out, you still got that thing on repeat. Guess you really miss her. No oh, shit. I mean, <laughs> what? But six months apart, only calls. It's been a minute yet. Do I need to yell at you? Easy oh, it's been over a minute. Okay, we're good. Oh, okay. I don't have to yell at the talk. I my girlfriend over Hammond reciting security protocols. I just had to spend. So you keep saying. Here we go. Nice clean re-entry. Nothing. The ages of. What the fuck? <laughs> Six months staring at that chunk of rock. To an independent miner, that's paradise. Aegis 7 is one of the richest finds in CEC history. Some prospecting team set up for life. What? Now where uh, is she? I mean, yeah, they were set up for life. There. It was a relatively were, short life, but they were set up for life. <laughs> what yeah, for the rest of their lives, you could say. <laughs> It looks like they already popped the cork. Why is it so dark? Man, pop the cork and bust out right? the champagne. Yeah. Party! I'll get us into hailing range. Someone's got to be waiting up for us. Just be careful on the approach. Either that or they're the infested with aliens, in which case, blow it up from orbit. I mean, what? There's no aliens here. No. I'm a computer analyst. It comes with a job. I ran standard CEC Space Zambies on the other hand. I'm going to work in the big leagues. You have to play ball. <clears throat> Sir, we're in ailing range. USG Ishimura, this is the emergency maintenance team of the USG Kelly responding to your distress call. Come in, Ishimura. It's amazing of 40K and how constantly. This is, uh, this, is un this is this is well known in 40K lore, but like, whenever they warp travel. The warp is weird, and quite often, Someone picked up the damn phone. You don't end up in a place you need to be on time. <laughs> sometimes drastically off of time. In fact, you, yeah, you, some, sometimes a travel, like, sometimes traveling through the warp gets you places in an instant. Sometimes it, you end up popping out in the place you're supposed to be thousands of years later. And I mean thousands of years later. <laughs> That doesn't sound very beneficial. Alright. I think somebody would work, work that kink out. You'd think, but this is 40k. Technology advancement is not really a thing in 40k. Especially for humans. Oh, we're being tractor beamed? Uh, the tractor beam's not tractoring very well! It's gonna be rough landing. Well, half of us better die. I mean, what? <laughs> uh, we, we, we live. We live. Everyone we okay? Did. Yeah. I'm nah. Fine. Sh nah. I shit my pants. It's it's <laughs> real bad. I'm gonna need. I need to I go shit to myself. the bathroom. <laughs> I shit myself. Imagine doing that in those suits. Oh dear lord. I'm shit. stewing in my own better filth than... right now. I am not okay. <laughs> I am I not okay. Gotta always read the manual. What's going on with flight control? That guidance system's a death trap. Better add it to your repair list. 
Jen, what's our deal? Hey, look at this. Copter down. We lost a port booster. We've got a fire in one of the stabilizers and... Singularity core is a mess. Could be worse, but not by much. Then let's get some help. Johnston, stay with the Kelly. We'll send a medic. Everyone else, with me. Yes, sir. Classic Dead Space helmet. Chapter one, new arrivals. All of you watching at home, if you don't know, which as old as Dead Space is, uh, you probably know. But keep track of the first letter of every chapter. You get you get a cool little message at the end. Where is everybody? Half the shield must have heard that landing. Be proud, Chen. You gotta see her one piece. Johnson might disagree. What? Uh, we have the letter N right. Now. I wouldn't mind something to study my nerves, especially on CEC's tab. You see anyone in flight control? No, nobody. Hmm. At least we didn't take out the sign. Sorry, I was reading a review for for musical I was doing. Real fast, just quick scan of it. For the one that you're actually doing? Yes, that that's we started this week. Yeah, we opened the night with Monday. Review? Yeah, actually, it was pretty, pretty, pretty good. I actually had they had quite a bit to say about me. I was, gonna, I was gonna say they they they, they uh, say how cute the taco is. Uh, sure. <laughs> we'll, we'll say that. <laughs> yeah, health bar. The health bar. Look at that. I do like that, actually. I'm gonna be I absolutely love honest with you. That's one I of the greatest I... things about this game series is the integrated HUD. There's no, there's yeah, like... no screen clutter. Like it's all built into your character. I do, I do, I do kind of wish other games did something like that, where you're like, Absolutely. your health is on your character's back. I wish every like game that. did that. That would be so good. Could you imagine? Dude, I'm now imagining, like, freaking, as much as I don't really like Nintendo a little bit, uh, freaking, could you imagine doing freaking uh, Metroid with this kind of a system? Oh, yeah, that'd be... You like know, in this kind of cool. game style that would be so cool Where's to play metroid game? like this holy Where's crap could you gosh i would love a metroid th no game that's basically this that would be oh. like, stupid cool <laughs> not gonna lie that would be so good i'm done playing around hey done playing around we done playing here boy nintendo had the balls to actually make a horror game <laughs> <laughs> Don't they? Oh, do they have already? Not. What have you got, Isaac? Is Fatal Frame Nintendo or PlayStation? Shit, it's not just comms for the. I think that's system. PlayStation. Got the Ishimuras in the red. Engines, hull, I think it was Nintendo. Tramps. I think they're on Nintendo. You could do that kind of damage to a planet crash. I don't know. Oh, there's a lot of things on Nintendo stuff, but you know. <laughs> Hey. Like H games, but we don't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> There's a uh, Luigi Mansion. Uh oh. I mean, yeah. You know what? I'll give them that. Luigi Mansion is technically horror. Lights went out. I mean, that's always. It's, bad it's, it's dark in here, Taco. Yeah. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. It's too dark in here. I could bring it out oh, the SpongeBob references. Oh, there? Look, it's alien. Oh shit! It's alien time. Yay! He got pierced! He got shishki bombed! Uh, he got on here. I don't know about you, but like when when 556 oh. starts failing oh. like that, oh. that's called a oh. switch to oh, a bigger one. Oh god! Yep, <laughs> run. Run. Run, Dragon. Oh. Run, Dragon. No, the 556 oh, is not doing shit. <laughs> <laughs> They're just popping out of the snow like daisies. True story. <laughs> I made it. Is this a cursed elevator? Oh god! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh okay, we're good. 
cursed elevators. I'm not a fan of them. <laughs> <laughs> Do not like cursed elevators, man. Is it cursed or is it lucky? Because it did kill it. It did kill it, but also like freaking. Uh. <laughs> I guess it. I guess it is. I guess that one was a lucky one. Cursed elevators usually die in the process of being of of uh, cursing or of being. You know, they usually die in the process. <laughs> <laughs> Cut off Ooh, plasma cutter time. Yay. This actually, like this, for, for what you're fighting, this actually would be, this actually, I think, is the the, the perfect weapon. Yeah. Because again, because like, you, 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 you were, the it, you were, it literally you know, you is like one of the best weapons of the game, and you get it like right off the bat. The thing, the thing, because like, I was looking at that, like, those guys are most likely using 5.56 five, in their guns, and it was doing jack shit. <laughs> Yeah, most of the weapons you get in Dead Space are like mining equipment. And I mean, mining equipment can be powerful to a degree. Uh, the not, the not one lie. weapon that you get that is an actual gun, the pulse rifle, is ironically like one of the worst weapons in the series. Well. Oh! Oh god! <laughs> yeah, my solution. Yeah, my solution to that, like for for any like any actual fire, there are firearms that are capable of doing pretty much similar effect, though, to to mining equipment for sure. Oh, that almost got me. I'm I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it's like, oh, hi. Hi, Bob. <laughs> Goodbye, Bob. <laughs> hey, nice Tom, you, it's Bob. Tom. Or hey, Bob, it's Tom from the <laughs> office the down the hall. The hey there, buddy. How have you been? Oh, been. <laughs> Things have been okay for me, except that, that I'm, I'm a zombie, zombie now. now. Won't you please really let, you us let us in? <laughs> All we want to want do to is do eat is your brains. Eat your brains. <laughs> we're not going to eat Careful. your eyes. Oh God, we're not unreasonable just, here. They're everywhere. Is he, uh, he's gone. Nothing I can do. What the fuck are these things? The I don't know. Soft, it's going to ask you me. They're the crew? How the hell can they be the crew? Look at them. We need to get to the bridge. This is some warp shenanigans, my friend. This is also something that could happen in 40k. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. <laughs> as old as like 40k is, I'm sure there's a lot of things that have taken like inspiration from it. Oh, absolutely. 40k has been like around almost as long as D&D has, not it? Just about, yeah. Yeah. They'd be Just similar age. Forty K is a very old, yeah, old series. Yeah, yeah okay. that was doctor, out right? before I was born. The smart thing. Yep. Because like, the, the first original edition, one of these came out, you know, when I was like in my teens. Find somewhere safe. I'll be back soon. Anyways, um, yeah, like, cause like the first edition of Forty K was called Rogue Trader. It was a rogue tra a game called Rogue, tra rogue Trader. Uh, Did they just come out with a new one of those? Technically, no. <laughs> I thought they, they just, just made a new uh, Rogue Trader. Um, they made some video game stuff called Rogue Trader, yeah. But Rogue Traders, that's a lore point that I won't get into because Rogue Traders are kind of different in a way. <laughs> rogue Traders are kind of like... Because the thing, the thing about the Imperium and humanity is like most humans will never see freedom. The freest you could technically be is like... Inquisitor level, and well, actually, that's a lie. The freest you could be is actually a freaking rogue trader. Rogue traders, pretty like freaking the license of trade gives you pretty much freedom to do almost whatever the fuck you want, almost, um, almost as much, almost as much freedom as a freaking uh, Inquisitor's rosette would would give you, which basically allows you to do anything like you want. Yeah, I didn't like that either, by the way. Um, <laughs> no? Oh, look, I don't like giant things. Doll. Oh, look. Baby doll. Baby doll. Oh, a little shiny head baby. Oh, I just kicked a can at it. Fuck you, baby doll. 
Reminds me of playing kick the can when I was younger, gosh dang it. <laughs> I accidentally what, kicked the can into someone. What are you, 80? No, I was... I'm only like 27. <laughs> Ooh, Bioshock abilities, I mean what? Uh... <laughs> I mean what? Actually, you know what? Yeah, I can... I, that was an accidental uh, freaking like comparison but like actually yeah this game this game is kind of inspired by Bioshock now I can see it now I can see it yeah, there is some similarities between this and Bioshock for sure I'm, I'm I think they well I don't know if they directly did so but like I actually dig it if, if it was on purpose awesome if it wasn't on purpose and completely accidental Still awesome. <laughs> I love. I, I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm actually. This is really good. The this, game? Oh yeah. Like, for, like I'm looking at this design and it's just like. Well, this is the remastered, right? Yeah. The remake. This does. This does. Yeah. The remake. The remake looks. This remake looks amazing. Like, oh yeah, absolutely. Model wise, right. freaking everything looks good. Like this looks, they all look really good. Oh yeah, there's. I, they I was bodies, following like the this. um the development of this game because the devs were doing like dev streams and stuff and showing off like the things that they were adding in and all the improvements and stuff that they were making, and it was like, holy shit, they really went all out with this game, like. The character models look great. The lighting? The lighting is oh, immaculate. The, is, the sound the design? Is crazy. And that'll become more apparent Art later is on. Good. Like, like, I was going to say also, yeah, the sound design is also pretty top notch. I'm getting it at the right time, like, the right sounds. Like, it's good. And it's like, really Isaac good. Isaac doesn't talk, like, running around. Unless he's talking with another person, he doesn't talk. I mean, so he doesn't you? distract well, actually, from I would the talk immersion. To myself. Like, to be truthful, he, he, he I would just, probably talk to myself, but... You just listen, it's, like... <laughs> silent. Or you have, like, that... Slight background music. But it's, it's ever so slight, because there's, like, nothing happening right right now. Oh, yeah. But, like, this this is good. And then you can just... You're just walking down this dark hallway... And... By the way, so far, just like... steps. Like, yeah. It's actually... I think it was for what this game is. Yeah, I think that was the best choice to go with, because they want horror. Right? Yeah, Th this is supposed to be. This is supposed to make you scared. And honestly, dead silence. There's nothing scarier than dead silence. Especially after you've already been introduced to the monster, so you know that they're lurking around somewhere, and that they could pop out at any moment. Like silence is as much a scary thing as like like sudden loud noises yeah it's it's unterrifying it gives you a sense of unease and then builds up and makes those eventual jump scares all the more powerful there's a reason there's a reason most people would actually start talking to themselves in these situations yeah just, just saying but that would in, be in reality, a very people bad would be thing because then you're making noise and alerting the monsters of where you are True, but at the same time, it's like it's a mental thing. Like, to be true, like there, there, there are pros and cons to it. It's, it's really, a, yeah, <laughs> really depends. Like, it's, it's not a bad. Like, I'm not saying you shouldn't do it, but at the same time, it's like really up to you. <laughs> there are pros and cons. It to depends it. if you're a badass like Isaac Clark or not. Even Isaac, like even Isaac though, here it doesn't talk. Um, yeah, but there's like when, no reason when, to. There, there's well, not, but like again. Yeah. It, like, well, yeah, you talk to yourself depends. to, like, create noise. To, like, try to make yourself feel comfortable. But at the same time, it's like, you don't want to alert the monsters. So, unless he's talking to somebody else, he doesn't talk. But he still, like, makes noise and stuff. Like, if you start running around... Oh, well, yeah. He starts, like... like the funny thing is footsteps. Heavy. Footsteps is also another, uh... Another thing, too. Yeah, when like, you're wearing these big ass clogs, even stomping around, you... It's still gonna make the noise with these metal floors. Like, there's nothing he can do about that, but like, freaking, uh. 
I was gonna say, like, that also adds to the horror element, though, is that just, just your, like, dead silence and the only thing is your footsteps. Um, <laughs> it's so uneasy. I do like also that, like, the main strat of destroying these guys is to destroy their legs, as you've been doing. Yeah. Cause uh, by the way, Taco, Taco knows. Taco's seen plenty of people play this. Yeah. Right, yeah, it, it tells you right at the beginning that uh, cut off their limbs. <clears throat> True, I didn't catch it because we were talking, but <laughs> I set it on the wall when we picked up the plasma cutter. Okay. Oh. I mean, that's a smart idea. Um, uh, in firearm and firearm design, I would be like, use a shotgun. Just use, just use the, uh, just use a shotgun. It's the same thing. It'll, it'll do the same thing. Oh god. Unless they're wearing oh boots like Isaac. Oh god! Dragon, oh no! Don't let poor Isaac die. Yeah, that's that's the terrifying thing is the 556 was doing nothing to these guys. <laughs> Assuming they were using 556. They might they might be actually using a because it's spaceships, they might actually be using a subsonic round. Or even handgun rounds. Ooh. Which again, it's it's likely that handgun rounds won't do shit. Yeah. Or this is using like plasma. Yeah. Well, the plasma, yeah, it's a, it's a tool, and it's meant to cut through things, so... Again, a shotgun would probably also be very effective here. I don't know. Is... Shotgun... The, the thing is, is, even if you, like, unload a bunch of rounds into the body, it doesn't really do a whole lot. It's the dismembering it. that... Like, that's what... Do you not know what shotguns do? Have you oh, not yeah, seen point what, blank. what a shotgun... Have you not seen what a shotgun can do to a human body? At point blank. <laughs> no, that's it, at almost range, any range. It's not going to sever. It's not going to sever limbs. At extreme at extreme range, yes. Closer, like do you do you understand? It also how depends close... on the, the the ammunition you're using. No, well. not really. Actually, the slugs, slugs would be. You if you use slugs the same way as this plasma cutter, you'd be pretty pretty okay. Oh, it's slugs, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Even, but, like, know, slugs, slugs have the same like effect as double shot or up. bird shot or something, like... A bird shot, yeah, bird, bird shot's probably not gonna do shit here. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. Bird shot's probably not doing shit. But, like, hey, buddy. single or double up buck you will probably... Oh, where are you going? They're, they're, those will, like, freaking dragon, freaking shotguns will dismember you <laughs> pretty easily. Okay. I need to. I'll find. I'll find that video for you. Grantham did a video testing this. Um, but I'll find that video for you. Do, 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 do. And just be like, shotguns are terrifying. <laughs> they are terrifying. They're my favorite. I'd love to have a shotgun. But like, yeah, a shotgun. You could easily, easily use a shotgun in place of your plasma cutter. Use it the exact same way. Oh yeah, this it would be super effective. If you aim for the limbs. Yeah, because again, the shotgun will dismember <laughs> these guys. <laughs> I will oh show you. Don't spit at yeah. me. That's gross. I don't want to be spit on. Well, not by you. Right. Taco, on the other hand. What? What? <laughs> it's a spooky game. Anyways, um, I'm gonna show you a video on, uh, it's Grand Thumb testing how far shotguns are deadly. Yeah, maybe Call of Duty should watch that video. Yeah, Call of, most games all actually nerf shotguns. Shotguns are actually pretty deadly to a pretty considerable range. <laughs> yeah, not according wow. to any, uh, uh, FPS dev. <laughs> well, yeah, it's because that's for balancing reasons a lot of time, though. Oh, God! <laughs> I 
Because honestly, at like the closer ranges, and by the way, when we talk close ranges, we're talking like anywhere between like a yard to like 100 yards. Well, not 100 yards, but like 500 yards, I think, most. For distance. Which, by the way, this plasma cutter has some range, by the way. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this thing's got some range, baby. I, gonna, I wanted to mark on that. Like, this thing's got quite the range. Fuck you. Oh, did it, did it jump out of the thing? He broke it. He didn't jump out of it. Let me save my game. You gotta save that game. I've been wanting to tell you the first time I saw one of them, I was like, save your game. Save your game. <laughs> <laughs> save your game. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Sorry, just old, old game habits, you know, because, you know, old games had reliability issues and, you know, could crash at any time. <laughs> Just old, old game habits, you know? Or you, or you might get stuck somewhere. Because of it, or because you didn't save, or whatnot. Like you die some, somehow, or... You, you yeah. know what I mean, you go super far without saving. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, then, and, then, and then you get killed, and you're like, Oh no, it's gotta go back to the last save. When was the last time I saved? And it's all the way back, and you're just like... No! Anyway. This game does have checkpoints, though. <laughs> Thank goodness. This room is like really creepy. Like, it's so dark in here, just a few lights, and then you got this thing swinging around. Listen. Just the occasional thump of that smack in the wall. Yep. Great sound. Oh, God! Not right How beside me! Not right beside me! Right beside me. I was going to ask you also, which di uh, difficult what difficulty are we on? We're on normal. Yeah. Medium. Stomp those bodies or so, help me. Gonna be honest with you, I'll probably do that in action, like in a zombie situation too. I'll just curb stomp zombies. <laughs> I think I'd do the same. Great, great zombie tactics, my friends. Where? 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 Oh, there he is. Oh, I just wanted a hug. <laughs> Give me a hug. <laughs> Give me a tear. <laughs> I'm so lonely. <laughs> so lonely. Oh. That sounds like a horde. <laughs> I also love the gibs. The jibs. That this game has. Did, like, look at, look at that dead body. <laughs> Look at that, that body. Mm. The the thing that, that was another thing in like the um, the the dev progress is how they changed the body damage and dismemberment in this game. So it's like uh, you have a necromorph and it's like, wearing clothes and stuff, but it's intact. You shoot the leg and like the clothes get stripped off. It does a little bit of damage. You shoot it again and like the muscle gets blown off. So then it's just like this little spindly leg. And you shoot it again, and it, like, actually severs the limb. And you, like, hit the face, and it, like, strips off the skin, so you, in the face is just, like, this grotesque, like, mus muscle figure. And they, they really upped the, uh, the gore in the game and made it, like, more realistic. Because, again, they're not getting shot by, like, a bullet. They're getting shot by plasma. So, yeah, it's going to, like, strip off, like, layers of flesh. It's really cool. Strip that flesh. Again, 
I also want it again. Freaking the range of this plasma cutter, though. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, it, it's got like, I'm, really good range. It's got fantastic, like, dude. <laughs> <laughs> If this is the range of a plasma cutter, freaking <laughs> Me means our uh, firearms companies are uh, failing their jobs. <laughs> I also like how the guns are your flashlight. So you oh, yeah. like walk, wander around the dark. It's, Most... it's pretty dark. You lower your gun Most... and it's like it's darker. Like it, there is no. Yeah real light coming off of Isaac. I mean, but there is. He, yeah, he's got his helmet. Yeah. And the glow from your helmet and your rig and stuff like produces light. I, don't, I, don't I was going to say that's that's how honestly, that's what you should be doing too with with even with firearms. Because firearms you they most will have a like most modern weapons have attachments for flashlights even though nowadays nowadays in the modern era you want you want night or thermal instead. Those are game changers because, you know, using a flashlight is gay. <laughs> <laughs> you would know. Look, 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 I'm just saying, like, you're, gonna, you're not really going to do that? You're going to go around with a flashlight and let all all the other men know where you are? It's pretty gay. <laughs> I, I, I let all the men know where I was. How else am I going to get kisses? How are you gonna get them kids? <laughs> and I might have to retract my statement, by the way. Um, and by the way, I forgot to start the timer. Um, <laughs> oopsies. Um, <laughs> uh, so, yeah, actually, so yeah next time fun. on VGM, everybody. It, 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 it is that time, actually. Uh, that yeah, is, we'll yeah. Uh, fiddle around with the circuit breaker and we'll kill some more space zombies. Yeah, I was gonna apologize. I just looked it up. Um, yeah, the dismemberment really doesn't come back, come into play with shotguns until like close range. Really, you should use a slug. <laughs> yeah, if you want long see? range dismemberment. See, see, I was right. I do know what I'm talking about. Dragano smart. Yeah. Dragano knows Dragano. things. Dragano doesn't know things. Anyway, bye. Bye.